Psalm 60 and Psalm 30. The heart that God wants us to have is a heart that receives his word and continues in his word. Those are the four categories. If, if I'm either one of the four, other than having a good heart, I stand in jeopardy. I stand, I stand in jeopardy. Turn to Acts chapter 2. We're going to look at this, this good heart. Again, a very familiar passage. Acts chapter 2. Start at verse 36. This is Peter to those at the, the day of Pentecost, verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made the same Jesus whom ye crucified, both Lord and Christ. Look at this good one. Verse 37. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and sent to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? See how that heart responded to the gospel? That heart responded to the gospel in that man, I have a godly song. I'm praying. Now I want to know, what am I going to do? How, how do I act on this? It said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and to your children, and to all that are fall, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Verse 41. And they that gladly received his word were baptized that same day, they were added to them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfast in the apostle doctrine, fellowship, and breaking bread, and prayers. Not only did this good heart receive the word, it listened to the word. It was prayer. It act on that word. And then the Bible said it continued right. in God's word. Those are the hearts that God accepts. God accepts the heart that hears the word, accepts it for what it is, right. acts upon it, yeah. and continues in God's word. We don't have a situation ethic that excuses us from doing what God asks us to do. That's right. Fear isn't a thing. Being broke isn't a thing. We obey God at all costs. That's right. We obey God at all costs. If we ever understand, if we ever get to the fact that there is not an alternative plan, there is not an alternative way, we'll do better by God. Yeah. We have to understand that there is not another way. We were talking about this morning in Galatians chapter 1 how some had came to pervert the doctrine of Christ, but it's not another gospel. Man, that's right. God's word is truth, and truth stand regardless. Yes, sir. And I can do one or two things in truth. I can believe it or I cannot believe it. I can believe it or I cannot believe it. Turn right. to John chapter 6, the last scripture we looked at. Go to chapter six. Let's we'll start at verse sixty six. John chapter six, verse sixty six. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walk no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. There isn't an alternative way. There isn't an alternative way. During this time, Jesus was talking about eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood. And a lot of people find it hard saying that. A lot of them left. And he turned and looked at the twelve and said, what about y'all? Y'all going to go? He 
Jesus. In other words, where, where else can we go? When it comes to Christianity, when it comes to God's word, when it comes to his kingdom, when it comes to his church, where else can we go? Where else can we go? Yeah, sometimes people back here with the corner, oh God. Thank you, Mr. Christ. I want to go to heaven. Back up. Come on, work with Buddy Dell. They'll wait good to the administrator. Or somebody that they think I'm going to be scared to speak in front of them. That's the very thing. Church Christ owns the church. They think I'm a heathen Hall calls the principal around. I'm a heathen Hall calls the sister principal around. No. No, I mean, that's, that's, you're right. That's, that's what the Bible teaches. We can't be careful around people when it comes to truth. So we talk, we're talking about the facts about money. We bold in, in our account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pay somebody five dollars for a two dollar burger, they don't give you that three dollars. You're gonna show up. People gonna hear about it. <laughs> and you're gonna state the facts. I gave you a five, the burger was two dollars. I should got three dollars back. <laughs> and we don't care who's standing around. We don't care who's standing around. Oh, we feel like they know as a matter of fact we're right. Brothers and sisters, we don't have to hear it all around with the Bible. God's word is right. Mm -hmm. The church of Christ is right. Amen. It's right. We don't, we don't have to be ashamed of that. We do not have to be ashamed of that. There's nothing more bad than being a member of the church of Christ. There's no citizenship that we have. There's nothing that we can be a part of that's any more valuable than what we have being in God's kingdom. That's right. We're in with Matthew chapter 13. Go back to Matthew chapter 13. It's valuable. Jump out of verse 44. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. The Bible says, again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hid, and for joy there, goeth and setteth all that he had, and buy that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant man seeking good pearls. Who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Brothers and sisters, being citizens of the kingdom, there's nothing any greater. Yes, sir. There's nothing any greater than being a member of the Church of Christ. Amen. There's nothing any greater than being a citizen in God's kingdom. That's right. Don't let people make us ashamed of that. Don't let people make us afraid of that. Don't let people think that you're putting you on the spot. No, don't let any of that affect the fact that we are citizens in the greatest thing or the greatest community known to mankind. That's the that's church of Christ. God planned to do it. He's the head of it. It was worth his blood. He's the only one. And he's coming back for it. Why would we be ashamed of that? Why would we be ashamed of that? I hope I've said that's something that will cause us to continue to investigate our hearts. Because God knows our hearts. God, we're exactly right. God knows our heart, but we need to understand how God perceives our heart. And the heart that God is happy with is the heart that hears his gospel, hears his word, obeys it, and continues to in it. That's the only heart that he's looking for. Out of the four, 
That's the only part that he's looking for. If you find yourself not caring about God's word, you need to get it. You need to protect your heart. You need to guide your thoughts. Can't be cold hearted thinking that. Can't have a hard stone thinking that. Can't have a materialistic heart to think that. God is looking for a good heart. Those that accept His word abides in it and continues in it. There's someone here that had obeyed the gospel of Christ. We're set up here and preach from now. We will sit another hundred years, thousand years. That message won't change. The message won't change. The death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the gospel facts, those won't change. And our obedience to that, or what should be our obedience to that, it won't change. It, it, it won't change. And all you got to do, the great thing about it, wow, all you got to do is look to see if what you believe is it. <laughs> if somebody tell you, pray that God will come to your life, you need to see if it's in the Bible. Right. Amen. If somebody say, hope oh, sinners pray, you need to see if it's in the Bible. Amen. If somebody say any church will do, you need to see if that's in the Bible. That's right. Because at the end of the day, people can say all they want to say. Mm -hmm. What will matter is what's Jesus said he would reject me receive not my word as one to judge the words that I've spoken they will be the same that judges and I'll be probably real careless with my life we were talking about it instead of this morning if some people didn't die I might gamble I don't want anybody to die I might gamble with my soul if some people did that. But just as sure as you're born, you're going to die. So I'm going to get ready for it. I would take a chance on my soul if when you die, that's it. You just live in the grave and sleep forever. I will take a chance on my soul. But the fact that the Bible says after death, there's a judgment. After death, there's a judgment, and we're going to be judged for the things that we've done in this body, whether it be good or whether it be bad. Eternity? A day in day. Maybe you do, right? But eternity? Eternity. You actually put your hand on that hot stone. That's how long you're going to hold it on me. You're going to put the snail down in the corner, corner of my hand. Uh, By the time you reach Seattle, Seattle, Washington, you take your hand off that hot stone. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Eternity. It's like watching that snail. It's just worth my All the way to Seattle, Washington. You get up in the pen, my body. I got to go. And that's a fraction of eternity. You put your mind around that. You put your mind around eternity. That's a long time to play with your soul. That's a long time to play with your soul. Brothers and sisters, we come by being believing and pit, confessing and being baptized for the remission of our sin. That's our obedience to the gospel. And that, that response, it won't change. The facts of the gospel won't change. That response to the gospel won't change. Then add it to the church of Christ. That won't change in the Bible. That won't change. There's somebody here that put on Christ and not living right and want to make that known to your congregation. Desire prayer, whatever the case may be, that's you come.
understand the same as all the